So I planned on filming this next part with the Canon camera, but I realized I had the camera, but I don't have an SD card. <laughs> so I'm going to film this part with my phone. So we here we are a week later. It's Sunday, the either 23rd or 24th, I don't know. Um, yeah, it's the 24th. Uh, I accidentally shut off the... Shut off the camera while doing that. Oh, wow, that pair of pliers stayed there. I went to Delaware and then all the way back up here to Sweetsburg. <laughs> yeah, I traveled probably 30 miles and those uh, pliers stayed there. So, as you can see, this is what I did for the winch mount for the main part. And I did it very simple for a couple of reasons. Some of which I'll get into in just a second. Primarily the fact that this is eighth inch plate and some of the tools I had really did not want to um, cut that. And I really couldn't really discuss that. Um, I wasn't really planning on doing the front plate with the uh, fair lead roller, but I kind of have to. And I'll explain that. Actually, I'll explain it right now. Uh, without the fair lead, this is what happens to the cable. So I used the winch last night to pull both of these pieces of equipment up on the trailer. And I gotta tell you, it did pretty good. Uh, it is so much better than trying to do this by yourself or with two people. So I'm happy about that. Um, these are two pieces of equipment that I'm scrapping. I am preparing another scrap run. That silver mower over there is going to go. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much where I'm at. I'm going to go ahead and get working. I'm going to explain to you what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Alright, so I'm hoping that the wind actually uh, plays nice. So there's a couple tools that I had gotten recently. And actually, let me pause this for half a second. All right, so to explain the need for what I got, I have to explain to you what I'm working with. I'm working with a four and a half inch grinder here. Within a minute, that eighth inch plate is taking this down to, what is that, two inches, three inches? Not safe. This is not safe at all. I mean, using the grinder to cut the steel plenty safe but with these uh wheels running down so quick i end up going through three of these wheels making that piece right there so first what i'll show you is these are welding pliers i hope you can see inside the case these are clamps they're like vice grips and you clamp clamp them down and that uh that holds your material while you're working this was a pretty nice kit it was about 30 bucks plastic mold kind of sucks this is where i may be changing my life right now i opened the box because i would i was excited i wouldn't look at it <laughs> so i haven't actually really opened anything this is called a plasma cutter Basically, you have a few uh, states of matter, one of which is plasma, and this is basically it, that. It superheats. So this is the torch, and then, uh, and it is glorious and brown. <laughs> I don't know why, but the fact that it's so brown, pleases me. I think, uh, I think even the LGR would love this thing. So this thing literally is very light. Um, it's a 120 volt machine. Uh, so there's the machine. There's the torch. And then here's the work piece, no, work piece clamp. I don't want to call this a ground because technically this would be considered a positive not a great feeling clamp, but uh, I think it'll do the job. 
and uh, it actually comes with all the part numbers for all the consumables. It comes with a few extra consumables in the uh, in the kit. So this was one hundred ninety nine ninety nine. So this was two hundred bucks. You can spend actually even Harbor Freight the. Uh, well, let me. I know I can't really run and get that real quick, but uh, my welder. So here's the thing: welding is cheap. Well, welding can be cheap. Metalworking, as a hobby, is not, because <laughs> uh, you end up having to buy grinders. You have to buy. You end up buying a plasma cutter. You end up buying clamps. You buy gloves. I not wearing them right now but I have them in the truck you buy a welding hood and uh, for a second I thought this wasn't recorded <laughs> but uh to actually do metal work and it ends up as a hobby it ends up being expensive I mean it's not super expensive there's other hobbies that are probably more money but you know in the long run like these are yeah this is a one time purchase where I'm paying hundred dollars but now I have this and uh, okay so say somebody might have made this this uh, mount for me for two hundred dollars well that's nice that's not bad but I still don't own the tools at that point and then you know next time I need something done I got paid again whereas I have these tools I'm learning how to use them I'm learning how to use them efficiently and uh, speaking of which let's uh Let's go through this a little bit. So, on the machine here, like I mentioned, it's a 110 volt. You know, there, here's your standard U.S. Edison style plug. You have the work where the workpiece clamp goes. You have where the torch goes, and then uh, the torch also has a switch in it. Technically, you could use this as a you could use this here and mount this to a CNC machine, and then. Uh, on the back, you have an air inlet. Oh, it actually has a plug. It actually has a piece in there. I thought I was going to have to do that. So I'm going to have to uh, look at the machine and see what it calls for for air pressure. i got to look at the manual so I can set my air compressor. Uh, my air compressor is in the trailer. I'm going to set up my generator over there so I can run the uh, compressor. Hopefully, my other generator will run this fine. We'll see when we get there, because it doesn't really like my welders too much, but I think it'll be okay with that, because that's only 35 amp. But, uh, yeah, so let's start getting some things set up, and I'll, uh, I'll actually go ahead and take some measurements first for what I need to make, and then I will get these mowers out of the way, well, that mower and the uh, cart out of the way, and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, so hopefully you can hear me over the generator over there, but uh, currently right now on this uh, plate here, I have a couple marks, which you should be able to see there, uh, 19 and a half inches wide by nine inches tall. The only reason I want it 19 and a half inches wide is this is gonna go on top. This is a, uh, a light bar, this will help me if I have to load anything at night, I thought it came with more wiring than it does, so that's not getting hooked up today. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so, uh, for this next part, I have a feeling you're probably not going to be able to hear me, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it anyway, and then I'll let you know, I'm going to film it, obviously, but then I'll let you know how things go. All right, so in the off chance that you can actually hear me, I have this, uh, I have the straight edge here, and I'm not confident enough to go freehand yet. So let's see how this goes. I've never used one before. Oh. Well, I don't have it, uh, I gotta turn it up a little. I forgot to check the settings on it. I think I 
generator don't like it. I got it cranked all the way up. Let's see if it'll work. Let me try something else. All right, so my big concern that I have right now with the way I have it set up is it's running both the air compressor and the plasma cutter. And it's a smaller generator, but this one tends to actually work. So, so we will see. So apparently, my uh, my welding hood too uh, too too sensitive for it, and I just took the breaker because I did something stupid. I'll be right back. Alright, so so far it looks like it's doing pretty good. It's just a matter of uh Yeah, it's gonna be This is not gonna be quicker, that's for sure. So my big concern that I have right now with the way I have it set up is it's running both the air compressor and the plasma cutter. And it's a smaller generator, but this one tends to actually work. So, so we will see. So apparently, my uh, my welding hood too uh, too too sensitive for it, and I just kicked the breaker because I did something stupid. I'll be right back. Alright, so so far it looks like it's doing pretty good. It's just a matter of uh Yeah, it's gonna be This is not gonna be quicker, that's for sure.
All right, so. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and do this, and then I will get back to you guys in a few. All right, so my big concern that I have right now with the way I have it set up is it's running both the air compressor and the plasma cutter. And it's a smaller generator, but this one tends to actually work. So, so we will see. So apparently, my uh, my welding hood's too uh, too too sensitive for it, and I just kicked the breaker because I did something stupid. I'll be right back. Alright, so so far it looks like it's doing pretty good. It's just a matter of, uh... Yeah, it's gonna be... This is not gonna be quicker, that's for sure. So, all right, well, I'm going to go ahead and do this, and then I will get back to you guys in a few. So I'm taking you off the tripod for a minute. This thing has a very low, what they call, duty cycle, which is how long it'll run at a time. But, uh, and I'm, I'm pushing this thing to its limit right now. But you can see how I'm getting better at it as I'm getting more comfortable with it. Um, the other generator over there is running it just fine. Every now and again it'll kick the breaker. But that one there just won't even run it at all. Which, like, isn't even cool. So, I will uh, get back to you guys in a little bit. Alright, so it took a while because this machine has a 35% duty cycle. Which means it can run basically 3.5 out of 10 minutes and this took a while it came out okay it's my first time ever using a plasma cutter I had some issues with the uh, generator blowing the breaker stuff like that but I'm going to go ahead and clean this up I'm going to drill the holes for uh So basically I'm going to clean that up and then this will go here, we'll bolt that together and uh, I'll start welding this up to the, uh, I'll start welding that up to the um, trailer and hopefully I'll be able to get some footage of that. So for reasons I don't completely understand, my big generator right there will not run either my little, my little welder or my big one. So I can't run the, uh, the stick welder right now because I don't have 220 on my other generator. So we'll, we'll be finishing up this project using the uh, little flux, flux core. So I guess we'll have that or I need to grab something. Alright, that's better. I'll have a place to sit now. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's have that. Turn on the welder. You're going to hear the generator be very unhappy. I can assure you of that. Okay, there we go. Ah. 
It doesn't look like Ray Charles welded it, and it's going to stay. Actually, I think I'll turn the wire speed back down a little. I'm probably not going to show these welds up close because <laughs> uh, she ain't pretty. I don't know if any of my viewers watch a channel called uh, AVE. He has a saying that I'm not going to say because my channel is family friendly. Uh, but, uh, you always say she ain't pretty, but uh, she does that thing.
What was that movie? Uh, Babe, I think. The one about the talking pig. Where the uh, farmer says, that'll do, pig. That'll do. Well, that's kind of where I stand on this one. So I'm going to get the flap disc out. Clean it up again. Maybe throw some paint on it. And uh, we'll go from there. You know, I just realized I had wanted to set the phone up on a tripod. The, uh, the winch has a remote. And, uh, so, I'm pulling this mower up from the winch. Actually, I never showed you what the winch looked like on here either. Uh, th I wouldn't call this a finished design at all. But, uh, yeah, this is what it's looking like. Everything's looking pretty good. Yeah, I pressed the button. And it comes right up. Oh, oh yeah. I'm gonna have to assist that because the, uh, the deck gets caught on here and I need both hands to do this so we'll uh but you see you get the gist so anyway I'll get back to you guys in a couple minutes all right so in case you were wondering what why I was building all this this is why I'm trying to get rid of a lot of the scrap mowers that are no good so as you know a couple weeks ago I took a load down and uh this is it this is my my next load take to the scrap yard last time I got a decent amount for it. I but this time I'm pretty sure I'm much heavier so I get a decent amount for the scrap that's why I make sure everything is tight that none of these mowers are going to go anywhere but uh yeah so that's pretty much it this is uh what I was doing this is why I was welding today um, the winch mount, uh, you saw me pulling that silver mower up with it, worked great. I have some things I want to finish on it, but for now that'll do. Oh wow, I didn't realize I was, uh, I cut myself there. Uh, yes, oh wow, I got a couple cuts, I didn't realize that. Anyway, thank you for watching, have a blessed day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.